Good morning everyone. The topic that we are going to present today is about the Cavite Mutiny, the Filipino version. The Cavite Mutiny of 1872 is one of the catalysts of the momentous 1896 revolution. Around 200 people were involved, composed of Filipino soldiers, marines, sailors, workers, and some Cavite resident. They were headed by Sergeant La Madrid, a native of Bicol. This mutiny was triggered by imposing forced labor or polo wise servicio and taxation on the personal and workers. It was the cause of the execution by Garote of the three Filipino priests, Father Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora. This tragic event is one of the factors that led to the awakening of the Filipino na nationalism. The author of the Cavite Mutiny Filipino version. Trinidad Pardo de Tavera. Trinidad Hermenegildo Jose. Maria Juan Francisco Pardo de Tavera y Guricho was a Filipino physician, historian, and politician of Spanish and Portuguese descent. He served as Deputy Prime Minister of the Philippines in 1899. A Filipino scholar and researcher, he wrote the Filipino version of the bloody incident in Cavite. Cavite Mutiny according to Trinidad H. Pardo de Tavera The account of de Tavera was originally written for the report of census in 1903 of the Philippine history. According to the Filipino version of the Cavite Mutiny written and told by the historian Pardo de Tavera. He denies that there was any plot to overthrow the Spanish rule such as the Cavite Mutiny. In his point of view, the Cavite Mutiny was only an incident mutiny orchestrated by soldiers and laborers who reacted to the harsh policy of the Governor General Rafael de Esquerdo. The workers were no required to pay taxes which they were exempted before. They were also entered into forced labor or commonly known as polo y servicio. According to Pardo de Tavera, the event is just a simple mutiny since up to that time, the Filipinos have no intention of separation from Spain but only secure materials and education advancement in the country. So on 20 of January 1872, about 100 men comprised of soldiers, laborers, rose in arms and assassinated the commanding officer and Spanish officers in sight. Also in this time, the central government deprived friars of the powers of involvement in civil government and in governing and handling universities. This resulted in the friars being afraid that their role in the Philippines would be gone, took advantage of the mutiny and reported that the Spanish government as a broad conspiracy organized throughout the archipelago. Therefore, this turnout of event was believed by Tavera prompted the friars to do something drastic in the entire desire to maintain power in the Philippines. Tavera sadly confirmed that the Madrid government came to believe that the scheme was true without any attempt to investigate the real facts or extent of the alleged revolution reported by Escuelo and the friars. Those who were involved, especially the convicted educated men who participated in the mutiny were sentenced in life imprisonment and are exiled to Marianas Island. While members of the native clergy, headed by the Gumbursa, were tried and executed by Garote.
this episode leads to the awakening of nationalism and eventually to the outbreak of Philippine Revolution of 1896. The French writer Edmund Plachet's account complemented Tavera's account by confirming that the event happened due to discontentment of the arsenal workers and soldiers in Cavite Fort. Although this anti-fire bias account of Pardo de Tavera was refuted by Father Serapio Tamayo. Father Tamayo served as the quasi-official defense of the fires against Tavera. But Father Tamayo's account does not add up to any the whole story of the mutiny.